for the removal of a distributor cap or dizzy cap unless the leads are clearly numbered and the cap numbered then don't just put all the leads off the cap itself this one just unclips sometimes they are screwed or bolted on inside that one it's a bit worn the rotor um, has worn grooves in the contacts so I will be replacing that one the thing with a replacement is to make sure you've got the right one and most cases this orange one will be supplied as a replacement for this car but that's the wrong one we need another black one like the one that was on it as this has a section there which fits into the groove it only fits one way around and that will fit there and the thing is when you're changing the leads the HT lead is obvious that's the centre one but the other leads you should change them all one by one to make sure you've got them right so that groove we've got over that side we'll do the one nearest that first then we'll do the next one if you do them this way you shouldn't get them mixed up at all that one, that one, and then the HT lead back in the centre. The rotor arm, if you have to change that, that just lifts off, goes back on. And then that's lined up. Then all you got to do, put those clips back on, and that's it. I'll just test it now to see if it works.